Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, me and Monday were teaching our friend Quinn how to play speed and how to improve our dashes and I thought it would be interesting and a good resource for people who also want to learn how to get good at dashes. We also talk about other various aspects with Alicia Racing and so yeah, if you're into the mechanics of Alicia, you'll enjoy this. Do you know how to do an orange slide by using the forward button? Uh, what do you mean by using That's, the forward button? Okay. There's two ways to do an orange dash. So there's one way where you press the back button and it'll turn it orange. Okay. If you hold down the forward button while you're sliding and then release it, it will turn orange. Mm -hmm. That's Does the that make original. Sense? And so in order Wait, to do, do an orange do dash, you need to like you need that, to yeah. do do the orange dash like that and then press down and then that will turn it into a red dash. Does that make oh, sense? Okay, that's why I can never do it. Yeah, like yeah. when you're doing a red slide, you cannot you have to hold forward the entire time the dash bar is filling, otherwise it will not work. Mm. I love trying to do a um, a red dash. Red dashes hop. are so evil. They are so evil, and Monday can just throw them out like an insane person. You... <laughs> I think the reason why you can just throw them out is because you're already holding down the forward key. Because whenever yeah, I'm, so I'm doing I'm a red dash. In that habit. Yeah, whenever Wait, so I'm doing a red dash, I have the, uh, the forward key. Are you just not letting go of it at all? When when I'm holding down the yeah. slide key, I do not let my finger go off the forward key until I need to let so, go of it. Yeah. The the thing that fucks with me is the most the most is because on orange bunny hops, you spend a lot less time in the slide state, yeah. so you can have much better control. Because when you're in slide state, you're like kind of out of control and you're going all over the place. So the longer you spend in there, the harder it is. Yeah. So it's it's really fucking evil trying to do red bunny hops because you have to spend a lot of I've time. I've had people in the tell me. State. I've had people tell me that they knew people who only did red bunny hops, and I think they're fucking lying. There's I no fucking. I think they're way. lying. Yeah. There's no. It's way. not real. They if they only did red bunny hops, then there's no way they won any races. Because they are yeah, not, it's just not possible. They are not yeah. getting all of those hops. <laughs> those are failed hops if they're not red. Like even I'd say I'm pretty good at red bunny hops, and even I am really struggling with them. Like it's just they're so, evil yeah. to do. They're not worth it, but they're a fun party they're trick, not I think. Because yeah, I know sliding makes you slider. It's a slider, slower. So that's one of the main reasons why we don't do red bunny dent. Uh, red bunny because you know, it's like the amount red of bunny hops because you, you lose it, way too much speed. It. Yeah. Yeah, the investment isn't worth the outcome. Exactly. Like it is it is faster when you do red bunny hops. Like I've tested it, you get across the map faster. That's just true. But you gain mm -hmm. less gauge because the like the way that you actually slide is a lot less effective. So you're right. faster, but it's less gauge and it takes a lot more effort and active brain power. Mm. Like, I'd rather take the slightly slower orange dashes for the stability, and also the ease of doing them. You also need to be at a speed above, like, 70, or like, you need to be yeah. above 80 kilometers per hour to do an orange dash. It doesn't let you do one below that. Okay. I didn't know that. I didn't That's know that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sometimes does let you, but it it takes a lot longer. Because mm. I think the way that orange dashes are like calculated, it's based off the distance. So if you're yeah, going really fast, it. if you're going really fast, it's really easy to get them. If you're going really oh. slow, it's impossible. It's not based yeah. off like the time. It's all about the distance that you go. So when you're going faster, there's more distance. That's crazy. I know. I know that. The more you know. How do we learn this? Did everyone tell you that? That is literally just something I like observed by myself. That's something I, ah, I see, studied I see, I see. in other people's videos. Um, I was wondering, do you like press the um the forward button while sliding a lot? I see. This is something I picked up. I don't think you should actually do it, but whenever I'm sliding, I always hold down forward and then I press down. See, cause I've noticed, cause your slides look really, um, they look different from mine, and I realized it's because you do that, and I was yeah, wondering. Yeah, I, I like, I hold down forward, and better. most people teach you not to do that. I think that's a yeah. bad habit that I picked up. I don't know, like, cause I the only the only I, time that I am not holding forward is when I'm doing like orange bunny hops, like, cause mm -hmm. on those I immediately press down when I'm in the air, cause I think um. I picked that up when I was learning how to do red dashes, actually, because for red dashes, yeah. you need to hold forward the entire time the dash bar is filling. 
Quinn, go into Jose Forest, and then in this tunnel, the the last tunnel, uh, try doing slides down it. It'll help you get good, basically. It'll help you make your bunny hops a lot more straight and more tight yeah. in their lines, so it makes it really like impossible to drift. Okay, so Jose Forest straight. would be really good for practicing bunny hops. Oh yes. Yeah, oh, just yes. immediate immediately turn around. Uh, would doing Collins Falls be good for practicing no. spider turns? I mean... Maybe, no, I would but... say Market Street's the best yeah, one for Market better Street, turns. Just because it's, it's it's so small, and it's all turns. If you watch my screen, you can see, like, I'll do just the normal yellow ones. You can just do this. Yeah. Connect the next bunny hop once the dash is gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Do that. You were doing it good. Those mm -hmm. two oh, ones right I was there. Just that doing. was good. Don't okay, make now it you're not so doing fast. it again. Yeah, you're, now you're not doing it again. Good. You're not using the dashes. You need to Use it. spend there you the go. little moment. Yeah. Yeah. Use it. There you go. The little moment of dash where you're just doing nothing. Got I it. can tell it's it's messing up your rhythm, but you will get this. Yeah, it's just getting. I believe rhythm. in you. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There More you go. Like that. There you go. There you go. That's good. That's what you want. Yeah, that's better. So what I would do is going down that tunnel. I would practice just doing orange dashes down it, and then I would add a or jump into it. Like orange, yeah, not even like orange dashes. Or yeah, you could practice just doing orange dashes back and forth. That's how. That's how I would get you to do the uh, to learn how Wait. to do the orange dash Sword. bunny hop. Look at my screen. You can practice doing this where you just. Yeah, just getting the orange dashes consistently. Yeah, and then once you're done with this, then you can like add the jump so it becomes like that. Soren, would you agree that that, that is the best way to learn how to bunny hop? Yeah, I'd say the yeah, dashes that down is... first and then adding the jump because or, like, I think that is probably Quinn, best practice way to do. just doing like this down. Like it just trying to keep a straight line while dashing and sliding. Plus, yeah, just slide, just slide Quinn. normally down that Tunnel. Slide and then let yourself dash and then slide like not that much. Yeah, time, yeah, 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 like that. Doing this rhythm and staying in a straight line, like you, you get as many really need there. to get the rhythm down for how long you should spend in between each like switchback. This is what you shouldn't be doing. Like, there's no time in between the bunny hops. Like, I'm just like even these. I'm not dashing. I'm losing speed on the speedometer. I'm going the same speed the entire time, which is actually just going slower because you're not making like good use of the dash. If I wanted to like be doing this the most effective way I could be, I dash, I let some time. You can see the speedometer actually okay. goes up a little. So yeah, I shouldn't be sliding immediately out of the slide dash. Yeah, basically. That, okay. yeah. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Like, you give yourself just a little bit of time to let the the dash stick for a second. Not like that long, because it doesn't benefit you for that long, but not when you immediately just switch back after switch back and you just have no dash. There you go. That's good. There, yeah, that's better. Because if you're just doing this the whole time, your speedometer never goes above 90. Whereas if you're doing this, so I'm aiming to get my speedometer above 90 for a second, and then going back into the. You slide. just you want to get yeah, your speedometer yeah. to go above like 79, because the Got longer it. that it stays that number, the worse you are. Okay. Because the big thing about sliding, that's why the dash is there. Sliding makes you go a lot slower, so the dash is there, so you get a speed boost to make up for the speed. But if you're not making use of the dash like effectively. It's just totally gone to waste, and you're just going slower. Got it. Okay. That's like the big technical explanation yeah. for it. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, you're you definitely just, you way let, better you let than where the you dash, were. You let the dash kick a little bit, and then you go into the next one. Okay. I mm. definitely need to practice this more, just alone. <laughs> that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, oh. it just takes a bit of practice, but... Like, this is the hardest thing to, like, teach someone, because it's not Bonk. something definitive you can say, like, boost yeah. at this exact second. It's like, you have to get uh -huh. a feel for it. It's definitely one of those things that it, is best... It it's best if you have someone sit down with you and, like, 
teach it to you. Because that's how yeah, I was literally. taught as well. Uh huh. Like, you need to have someone over your shoulder telling you, like, what you're messing up on. Uh huh. Which is kind of hard because a lot of people don't have that in the community. Exactly. And I feel like it's it can be hard to find someone who's willing to do that. But, like, we're yeah. willing because we just want to talk about this shit all day. <laughs> I am so autistic over this game, I will talk about that all day. Am I just doing this better though? Yeah, that's an yes. improvement. Is that and then once you get, we're doing once you get confident in that and you're able to stay in the lines, like really easily, like imagine the box a is jump. a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. I, I'd say first you probably add the orange slide actually. Yeah. True actually. Like you, you start implementing the down key press and then the up key press mm -hmm. after. <laughs> I need to get better. I was doing the orange slides earlier. There you go. There you go. You're I doing it when you're pressing down, right? Yeah. Okay. Because that's I the one that that's the one you should practice. Yeah. Yeah, you need to wait a second. There you go. There, there you go. go. You you, you can't immediately it. press it or it sends yeah. you in a I need weird to, direction. I need to go ding ding, not ding. Mm -hmm. So I think it's fun to like try to make the pivot point something insane, like this line on the road. Like, uh -huh. or like have that be like where you start your left ones on. That's where my ho I'm trying to get my horse to land. And I'd, I'm trying mm -hmm. to make them as tight as possible when I do that. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to do orange ones here, but like that. Mm -hmm. Where you're like traveling the least that's distance possible. That's so good as well, because when you do it so close to the wall, uh, it you really, have to really like, you really know small. when you fucked up. For real. Like, even I Are got chill me. at it. Literally. Yeah, Whoa, my this computer. is so hard. Oh, hang on. Hmm? Oh. You can only do it on one side. Oh, oh my god. Hello, and uh, yeah, that's another thing, Ruffy. Like a lot of people get it... really comfortable bunny hopping on just one side, which is really that's bad. True. I was like, like that as well. Oh my god. My my like right start bunny hops are a lot better than my left start bunny hops, which are really bad. I can't my remember bunny. which one's which, but I have that same thing. Like the left start is when you start like that. <laughs> right start is when you start like that. Oh my Races god, this is so hard. Holy I shit. know. This is how you get better at like straighter bunny hop lines, though. Doing it right next yeah. to the wall. Mm -hmm. Like it, it is. And the lines crazy. are so useful. They're there. I Thank you, know. Lincoln. I didn't even realize. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Going towards the wall is. Mm -hmm. It's so scary. But yeah. I feel like this is really important to like. This is stressing down. me out. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Because. In like a practical Dude. race, when you apply this, you're gonna be this close to stuff and bunny hopping. It's true. So it's really important it. to know that. The timing Wait, is definitely your, good. Uh, why is your camera angle on the middle one? I like it. In speed, you, you usually should have the top view one because it lets you see the most. Wait, have you been racing with the middle, like, usually? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It, the top one it does helps help. you like see the distance between stuff a lot easier. I genuinely, when I, when I first got into speed, I used to always do middle, and I thought people were crazy for saying top is better, but it is better. Mm -hmm. It really helps. You can, you see, can like, just the see better the walls and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It was it's really hard annoying to get into default controls. But it's worth it in the end, I think. Out of my was. It is. Not yeah, either. I just think like. Especially if you're learning speed and you're in the beginner stages of it, that's one of oh, the most helpful things. Immediately you can switch. Do. Mm -hmm. Immediately switch. Like, don't just spend too, too a minute longer on WASD than you need to. But if you're like Ruffy and you're stuck using WASD, then there's <laughs> ways to make there's ways to make good of it. You can get Wazd better with isn't it. Wasn't bad. Wasd isn't no, bad. No. Arrow keys are like definitively better though. Disagree. <laughs> You are not the pro speed player. Uh, I am the gamer it's true. though. true, you can't say shit. The whole, the whole WASD versus arrow keys thing, I am a very firm believer in the fact that just arrow keys are definitively better. Like, factually better. 
Why? Like, I... I Do you have a reason, because... or it's just because... Yes. I... See, I have reasons for it. Like, number one, every single pro player and player that you see that is good at movement True. uses arrow yeah. keys. Like, whenever someone has, like, their... their key footage or something, it's always arrow keys. The game teaches mm -hmm. you to use arrow keys. And you use arrow mm -hmm. keys, like, usually with your dominant hand. So you're more, yeah. like... You have better control over them. Whereas with your, like, WASD keys, unless you're left-handed, it's a lot more of a struggle. With WASD, mm -hmm. you end up having to balance more on your left hand, because naturally you use your left hand for more in the game. Like, mm -hmm. I, it's just this whole thing, like... No, I that think makes just sense. Definitively in my head, and in a, most other speed pro players' heads, arrow keys are just better. And there's no competition yeah, in my head. <laughs> I think it's like, easier to use arrow keys because that is the standard and that's how everyone teaches everyone else. No, yeah. I would disagree with that because, Ruffy, I think you you had good resources and stuff learning speed. Like, you looked at the videos, you did it, you, like, learned speed. And you're still yeah. struggling with movement because of the fact that you use WASD. I cry. Like, I, I would argue that a lot of the issues that you had, like pressing down before a bunny hop, that's caused by the mm -hmm. lack of, like, finger space you have on West. No, yeah. Like, I think that's even true. when you learn only on West, and that's how you, like, are raised on it, there are still issues mm -hmm. because of how West works. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I don't want to, like, attack <laughs> you for your controls. No, I'm attacking you. No, no, it's okay. No, it's fine. I already know their shit anyway, so. <laughs> My only issue I've, with I've speed just... bar is that you...